camera is rolling. So Mr. James, you do not mind me publishing this to YouTube? I do not mind you publishing this to YouTube. Okay, great. No, That's great. Need, and this is my uh, card. Okay. So I, when you see the video and you go like, ah, I changed my mind, that's fine too. Just let me know. Right? <laughs> no, that's so, fine. But this is interesting though, because I was talking to you and you said that an open, how did you say this? Church? It's an outdoor church. An outdoor yeah, church. Yeah, we're the outdoor church. We meet uh, in a city park in okay. downtown Naples and right. and uh, it's, uh, it's open, it's under air. We uh, normally have our services during summer because it's okay. hot we right. have about, about 300 350 and then uh, during season from October to May we generally have anywhere between 2500 and 3500 every Sunday what yes you have 2500 people sitting here yeah, yeah in the outdoor church oh I gotta see this yes it's it's neat uh, that stuff. is uh, special we've been doing that for 26 years now we've moved from a couple couple different times oh, wow. uh, until still the, the city finally found out what they wanted to do with us okay and so uh, <laughs> So yeah, it's a it's a neat experience. It's people yeah. bring their dogs. Right. Uh, you know, we encourage people to bring their dogs. We've got a dog station, so you can get treats and, huh. and uh, all kinds of stuff for your dogs. And um, I never even heard of outdoor outdoor uh, church. And so, how did that get started? Who started that? Well, our senior pastor, who's still our senior pastor, Gene Scott, he uh, started on a on a park bench with about uh, about ten other people. Really? Him and his family and 10 other people started 26 years ago. 26 years? Yep, 26 years ago and uh, it grew fairly fast and uh, they kicked us out of one park and we moved to 10 City, uh, down t downtown Naples and then finally we settled over into Cambier Park here in Naples and so it's been a great experience. I've been with the church now for what, 18 years or so. Oh, you were uh, there from the get-go to well, almost. For, for a long time, yeah. I was involved in music ministry for for a long time and then I've been one of the pastors for the last five years. So oh, you did the band? Yes. yes. That's first, so you're into music too. I am. I, I gotta am. write this down. Can, that's Cambier Park? Cambier Park. C-A-M-B-I-E-R. And is that close to Fifth Avenue? Yeah, it's directly behind Fifth Avenue. If you were at the if you were at the Starbucks on Fifth Avenue uh -huh. and walked underneath the breezeway, okay. you'd walk right out to where the park is. This is so cool. Ah, I gotta go visit that. And those 350 people that hang out there in the summertime, wow, those are the real heroes because it's like almost impossible to Yeah, well, you know, enjoy. they come early. And it's funny, we, we, we serve just about as much coffee mm. when it's hot as we do when it's uh, in the, in oh. the uh, winter time. Wow. People get out early and we have coffee and donuts and snacks, and, you know, and apples and that sort of thing. Well, so, let, let me so, tell you. Any any organization right but also a church that knows to pull 350 people in the burning sun in florida during the summertime that's a special place <laughs> uh, i gotta see this one day well I we'd like to see it see, uh, we'd like to see you down there yep i gotta we think it's a special place for yeah, sure yeah for sure i mean also that you grew that fast i mean in 20 years or so yeah um from from 10 people to 2500 people um wow i think and the biggest thing for us is is that you know we let everybody know everybody's welcome we don't you know you could be you could be from a red state you could be from a blue state we don't care you can right. you know, we don't we don't care what your gender uh you know what your gender pronouns are we don't care we don't you know black white it doesn't matter doesn't matter what country no you're colors from, you know no politics everybody no everybody's welcome i like that everybody yeah that's welcome. beautiful and so how would you describe though the uh, denomination? Like, um, is it more Catholic or is it more Protestant or is it like um, it's Baptist? It's Protestant. It's, Protestant. Uh, Protestant it's non-denominational. Uh, both okay. myself and our senior pastor are uh, are we grew up. We both grew up Baptist. All right. Uh, so there's there's I'm sure there's it's hard not to have some Baptist leanings. Sure. But we but we know we're non-denominational and and we you know we preach the Bible and. Uh, yeah. and uh, now you have like always a sermon yes Did you uh, have a sermon that the, the uh, referee or the the reverend um, do you call him a reverend or pastor the pastor yeah okay that the pastor reads a piece of the Bible and then talks about that 
Yeah, well, right. you know, we 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 do a lot of topical. I mean, I, I did something a little different this Sunday. Okay. Uh, but I just I just worked off off of one story. All right. Uh, and shaped that around my message, which was, uh, in fact, uh, everyone's welcome at the table. Hmm. Uh, but our, our senior pastor is out, he's outstanding at at uh, some very topical things. Hmm. Because uh, a lot of people know, get religion and they, they, they get the Bible, they get the words, but they don't know what to do with it. Yeah. So Gene, our, Gene Scott, our senior pastor, he's amazing at shaping these topical things that are going on in your life right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. How to deal with it, mm-hmm. how to live with it, how to work with it. Right. With the references and the direction from the book that we get direction from. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, the spiritual, uh, spiritual uh, direction. You know, I mean, it is really like that life changes a lot, but it's only we think that life changes a lot because life really has been the same forever. Yes. Because in the end, it's all about the same things in the end, you know? It is, um, we're born, there's a party because a child is born. Uh, There is sadness when uh, somebody's life has uh, ended, you know? Uh, We get sick. Uh, we have happiness, uh, and it's in the end, it's all about family and friends, right? Yep, absolutely. And that was the same for the Neanderthalers <laughs> or the Middle Ages, as it is today. Yeah, and people say all um, the time, they say, "Well, it's the worst it's ever been." Right. I go, "Well, I haven't seen any." You're going to turn in right up here. Thank uh, you. Uh, I said, you, you, "I haven't seen any uh, locusts taking over anything here lately." <laughs> you know what I mean? It's hard. You know, be right. careful when you when you start saying that it's the worst it's ever been because if you haven't been through everything, then you just don't know. We can turn right right here. Right here? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. The map is telling me to go straight over there, and but this, then this is a shortcut, I guess. And this, this, oh, this, this building, building here on the right. Yeah. Perfect. Let me see if I can make the turn. Uh, I'm not gonna try that. Well, we got it. Well, that was too short, but I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing you over there. Can I drop you off in this uh, little hallway? Uh, actually, you can just drop me off right here in the front. Right here? And I'll walk, yeah, I'll walk back. Okay. Hey, man, I enjoyed it, man. You yeah. have a great day. Nice, uh, nice yeah, up to you, Reverend. All you right. Nice, James. Push, press the button. Oh, okay. There you go. You got one of these cool cars, now, man, with all the... And do you guys have a website? We do. It's, okay, great. It's uh, www.celebrationbeachchurch.com. Yeah. Celebrationbeachchurch.com. Mm-hmm. Wow. You got beautiful. it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take it easy, I'll man. I'll put a link on the, on the video. All right. Sure. Sounds great. All right. Nice time to you. Bye-bye.